You know the ones you get when you're dead tense? Or oh, a swollen gland? I mean, you might be coming down with a cold. I know what it is, Annie Beth. Well, well, we need to get you to the hospital then. No. Well, they've got two tests. What difference does it make if we do them now or in the morning? Sinead! This is my wedding day and I'm going to enjoy it. So are you. So is Daniel. You have to tell him. After all that stuff with the kid. Yeah, yeah. Of course I'm going to tell him. But I don't want anyone else knowing, all right? Who are you two gassing them out? Oh, girl stuff. Um, will you go get us some food? Yeah. Smile, Auntie Beth. I want you to smile. I want you to take lots of photos. I want this day captured forever, OK? Right, come on. This is terrific. Well done. Well, best I could do in two hours, so. That's why you're my events manager. <laughs> we need to discuss the franchise properly. Yes, we do. Excuse me, love. Um, are there any animal products in these? Because I'm now a vegan. Um, well, I mean, that is a burger and that's a sausage, so... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> when you've got them all, come and find me. I'm in room 204. All right. So, shall I tell Robert that you're off to another man's room, then? <sighs> Be my guest. OK. Thor Ragnarok it is, then. Chris Hemsworth and delicious wee posh doodahs. <laughs> The key to a happy marriage. Oh, what advice from a man who's been married four times? Says the woman who's been married four times. Says the bigamist. Look, I'm trying to make an important point here. If you let me get a word in. Yeah, go on, Dad. Shh. The key to a happy marriage is compromise. How oh, very dull. No, what? no. The key to an happy marriage is marrying the right person. Well, that's that sorted then. Well, right person or not, you're still different. Look at me and Deirdre. No, compromise is essential. <sighs> I don't compromise with Steve. You don't compromise with anybody. Surely the key to a happy marriage is honesty. Yeah, wise words from a wise man. Uh, excuse me. Do you mind if I just steal my husband for a moment? <laughs> <laughs> Can't keep their hands off each other, can they? I miss those days. Actually, I never had those days. Not with my bill. Hey, what's up? I know we're caught in this suit, but we've got plenty of time for that later. I found a lump. Oh, we'll be married by now. Oh, didn't she look gorgeous when mm. she had that bride's glow? I was just bronzer. <laughs> well, you know what I mean. I hope I get that glow one day. Yeah, it's nice, but it can fade quickly. Well, not if you meet the right man. Oh, yeah. Anyone on the horizon? Well, there is someone I like, but it's not going anywhere. How do you know? He's attached. Oh? Hmm. But I don't think he's into her, to be honest. What makes you say that? Oh, nice shirt, Kevin. Yeah, not bad for 20 quid. <laughs> You're just like me, you are. You've got CPD. What's that? Compulsive price disclosure. Like someone says to me, ooh, Emma, I love your dress. Instead of going, why, thank you, and pretending it cost a mint, I immediately go, 9 99 from Topshop. Can't help myself. Well, you can't be a bargain. True, but maybe don't let your date know that it was cheap. How oh, do you know I've got a date? Because <laughs> if I will, you? <laughs> yeah. We need to go to the hospital. Oh. Like I told Auntie Beth. Hey, don't be stupid. We need to find out what it is. And we will. But right now, I want to enjoy our wedding day. I want to enjoy feeling happy and beautiful and, and hopeful. But it could be nothing. Or it might be the cancer. And if it is, I, I don't want to know that. Not today. We can't just pretend that it's not there. Why? 
in a few hours. I promise we will go in the morning, okay? But right now, I want no fuss, okay? No tears. Just joy. Please. Please, Daniel. Hey, you're right, chicken. <sighs> of course, I'm a bit sad. Then I got Rana's voice in my head saying, cheer up your miserable git. It's a free bar. <laughs> and then I laugh. <laughs> Listen, this time next week, you'll be sipping Singapore slings in Singapore, hopefully without a sling. <laughs> Singapore, eh? Yeah, I'm going to book my flights tomorrow, all well, thanks to you. Why, she's not driving you out, is she? No, this wonderful woman has given me a grand. <laughs> wow. Jenny, that, that's, uh, that's unexpectedly generous of you. <laughs> wow. I know, I feel bad now. I always just think she was really mean. Yeah. <sighs> Sorry, I didn't have time to go home and change. Nice shirt. Yeah, it's not bad for... Cheers. Pint, is it? Hey, here he is. Can have some real ale, are we, eh? Then have a rant about it. Sorry? <laughs> I think it's great, I do. That's like going old school myself. Pint of mine, please, bar lady. I'll get these, Kev. No, you get the next ones. Why should the men always get them? All right. Sure, he's on summer. <laughs> do you really want a pint of my old? No, no, no. Just a <laughs> bottle of Stalin, please. Hey. You can still make it tonight, can't you? Because I've got the old tow booked and the taxi's coming at seven. You, you can still make it, can't you? Keep your voice down, the ears and the ladies. Oh, right, OK. Well, you don't think she suspects anything, do you? Don't think so. Right, OK. Well, good, because tonight's going to be special. <laughs> oh, I'm a beautiful boy. Oh, big smile. Come on, Nick. Keep it together, kid. That's what she needs. Oh, look at this. Has anyone ever said that you look like a young Robert De Niro? Uh, yeah, once or twice, yeah. The absolute spit. Your same deep eyes, same glossy hair. Have a little mingle, are we? Yeah. Oh, oh, sorry, you two are... Yeah. So maybe go and stalk a different stranger. Oh, sorry. Reckon it's because I've gone vegan. Craving animal contact. Uh, Mum, uh, we're going to cut the cake soon, oh. so... Cake? Something I can eat. Hey, yo, no, you're good. <laughs> yeah. hey. Ladies and gentlemen, if I could have your attention, please, uh, raise your glasses to the bride and groom and a wonderful future together. Just got out of the shower. Do, I, do you know I can come back? No, 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 don't be daft. Come in. As long as you can handle my knobbly knees. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah, come on. <clears throat> so, how's it going downstairs? Uh -huh. Well, they're drinking you dry, so... <laughs> <laughs> Good. Take a seat. It's, uh... <clears throat> Really is very generous of you. Well, like I said, my pleasure. And you're doing an amazing job. Hmm. Thanks. More than prove yourself. Now, now this franchise. Contract <coughs> for eight outlets. 
I want the bistro to become a recognisable brand. Um, you've called this Michelle's. <laughs> it is yours. And Robert's. We need to discuss Robert's involvement. I've got award-winning chefs at your disposal. Yeah, but it's half his business. I'm not saying he wouldn't be involved or well recompensed. Just that we need to discuss it. You're the talent here, Michelle. You're the one I want to work with. I think we make a great team. Daniel. Leave me alone. Oh, sorry, I... You haven't seen this, okay. We are colleagues. I am engaged. I know. You've just put your hand on my thigh. Oh, sorry. I touched your leg in a friendly kind of way. I didn't even realise I was no, doing it. No, no, no. Don't give me that, Ray. Michelle, I'm a tactile kind of guy. I'm the same with my daughter, my friends. I don't do business this way, all right? Neither do I. Is that the kind of guy you think I am? I thought you knew me better. You, you, you were in your bathrobe in your hotel room. Well, you and think then you I lured you here on purpose? I, I never said that. <sighs> I just... I think you better go. Well, but what about the franchise? Another time. I clearly need to get dressed. Thought you were until midnight. Yeah, so did I. Must have read the rotor on. Mm. You've been a bit distracted recently. Yeah, well, you know, I mean, work's busy, isn't it? Got a lot on my mind. Mm. Well, why don't we go for a nice, relaxing meal tonight, then, at the bistro? I could ask Izzy to mind Liam. Yeah, I mean, I'd love to do that, but I've got a colleague's leaving you to go to, so I kind of got to go. Please don't lie to me, Ali. I'm not lying to you. You know, I've been out with some really good liars over the years. I'm actually quite relieved that you're bad at it. If you're not feeling this, just let me know, yeah? Hey, of course I'm feeling this. I know that you're going out with Emma tonight. OK, I've heard your little secret chats, and I overheard you before when you thought I was still in the toilet. Certainly explains why you've been distracted. Oh. <laughs> oh, what, you think this is funny? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Really do pick on me, don't I? Emma, you're welcome to it. Hey, oh, 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 oh. hang on a minute. You've... No, 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 you've, you've got this really wrong, OK? Because, actually, we were organising a surprise for you. Oh, pull the other one. It's true. I was going to babysit Liam tonight. Yeah, which is why I have booked us a hotel and ordered us a taxi and packed him an overnight bag. I don't believe you. Look, you can ask Steve about the taxi and look in the back of your wardrobes where I've hid your bag. You can ask Bethany. She knew an all. Yeah, you know, I just figured that if, look, if Daniel and Sinead could have a surprise wedding, then we could have a surprise getaway, yeah? Well, what about this attached bloke that you fancy in then? Oh, he's a client. You know, Charles. The posh one with the floppy hair. Oh. The one who moans about his girlfriend all the time. <laughs> yeah. Oh. oh, I've been such an idiot. Yeah, well, you're a gorgeous idiot. I'm not oh. so mad about you. Come here. <laughs> Cute. Yeah. Ah, oh, love, eh? Kept this in a date. I'm sorry if I've given the wrong signals. I, I love you was a mate. Look, you don't have to finish the speech. I've got it. Sorry. Ah, oh, you like hanging out so much together. Well, cos I love hanging out with you. Hashtag start of a great trip. Hashtag that my girlfriend nearly ruined. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yeah, I'm one of the Muppets online. And you're probably right, in 20 years, we'll probably want to let's get your hair cut or fix your car. How do you know I said that? Cos I'm a big fan. Kept the crank. <laughs> I, I think I can explain. Oh, um, you've not seen Daniel, have you? Uh, no. Ugh, just going to have to eat cake now, I'm vegan, aren't I? There's egg in that, you know. Egg? Hey, yeah. Where have you been? Well, I just needed to get some fresh air. It's really hot in this suit. Oh, come here. Hey, yeah, I reckon we should get on with the speeches before everyone gets a bit too trolled. 
You gonna say a few badly chosen words? Well, I haven't prepared a speech. I mean, I didn't know I was getting married. Just wing it, darling. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, can I have your attention once more? I do apologise, but it is my job. Give it up for the groom. <clears throat> uh, thank you all for coming, especially at such short notice. I don't actually have a proper speech prepared because my wife... <laughs> my beautiful, but completely crazy wife decided that she wanted to surprise me. And she has. In fact, she surprises me every day with her kindness and her generosity and her weird dance moves. <laughs> and the way that when she sleeps, she makes these weird noises like a little hamster. <laughs> and the way that she is with our son. But what surprises me the most, what astonishes me, it's her bravery. Because she... I'm sorry. I, uh, I think what my husband is trying to say, aside from the fact I snore like a rodent, <laughs> is that he loves me. But uh, not as much as I love him. I'm only brave because of him. When I thought I couldn't go on, he showed me that I could. When I was too ill to see Bertie, he took care of him. When I couldn't stand up because I was too weak, he held me. It's his love for me that made me strong. And, well, I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for him. Daniel Osborne. You're my hero. And right now, there's no happier woman alive. Come here. Come here, you soft nally. <laughs> it's enough to make anyone want to get married. Maybe you and Robin next, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. <clears throat> Can we do this all the time when we're married? <clears throat> well, I think the bun might have something to say about that when it comes out the oven. No, we'll get her into Fulham's early doors, maybe skip the whole breastfeeding thing and straight onto the canapes. <laughs> <laughs> I think the bones are graying with you. Isn't it a bit too early for kicking? I definitely felt the flutter. Give me your hand. I can't feel anything. No, I can. I think she's trying to talk to you. <laughs> or he. But in my head, it's a girl. Yeah, me too. Hmm. <laughs> You've been taking the mick out of me in public. No, it, it's affectionate. People love you. You've, you've nearly a thousand followers. What? You should see some of the comments. Yeah, it's quality, mate. Honestly, some of your rants are proper memes. What, you've got a thousand people commenting on my life? How dare you? I'm sorry, Kev. I've taken the page down now. Who else knew? Uh, Tim Tyrone. Yeah, and half the street. Not to mention the thousand strangers laughing at me behind me back because of you. No, it's not like that, honestly. And to think I wanted a date. I don't even want to look at you. I'm so sorry. Oh, you're fired. I can't work with you after what you've done. Oh, film an accident, would you? Film someone being attacked. Because that's what you all do, innit? Go up into people's lives on your phone. Post it on social media. Yeah, well, it all makes me sick. Classic crank. <laughs> I saw you earlier. 
earlier. Take Claudia Colby's. Did you? Hmm? Is this stolen as well? We can't afford posh drinks in an hotel like this. It's a free bar. Is it? Yeah. Why didn't you tell that? I thought you knew. <laughs> I shall get us some fresh ones. <laughs> oh, oh, hang on, not yet. Love, look at... Come on, you, first dance time. Well, no, I don't think I can dance. I know you can't, but that doesn't mean you're getting out of it. What made me behave that way? Sing words I'll never say. I'm scared. Me too. Right now, I'm having a beautiful day. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> <laughs> And Katie McGlynn, who plays Sinead, will be joining Philip and Holly on This Morning tomorrow from 10 at 30. Over on ITVB tonight, with a new lady on the scene, there might be trouble. It's all new Real Housewives of Cheshire next. Or stay with me here on ITV as the hunt for Sean continues in A Confession. <laughs>